sir. Miss Brooks from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York. Robert Cruz. Ahead, they could be squaring off in the fight for the right tournament as we move on in the semifinal and final round. My storm could be the payoff. Oh, he did it. One, two, he did it. Expressions from Ms. Brooks at ringside. I'm here with Mr. Rude and the lovely Mrs. Brooks. Now, Robert, you've got a huge match against Junior Fatu tonight. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Ms. Brooks from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York, Robert Rude. Been a wild and crazy night here tonight. Let me try to update you on this crazy heavyweight title situation. What has happened here? Fighting for the right tournament. Somebody that has just been unbelievable since the moment he's entered into TNA. And here it goes. Junior Fatu's got him up. No oh. way. This is a bunch of crap. That's right. He's going to crush Robert Rude to win. One, Are you kidding me? Two, this can't happen. Done. It's a travesty of justice. You know where she's at? She's out there screwing around. She's doing something behind your back. They're all crazy. I told you that. You got to pull back those reins, Kurt. Get that leash on her. Send her back to the kitchen where she belongs. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a mixed tag team match. It is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York. The team of Robert Roode and Miss Brooks. The way you can see. That girl holding that sign, that's the that state girl that was here the last couple weeks, isn't it? I think so. I think that's her. That's the young lady that's been at ringside several weeks. You know, Robert Cruz talked about the fact that he might be Quickly, Ms. Brooks shoots her off. Follow up. No, Gail Kim out of the way. Roll out. One, One two, two, got her! Ladies and gentlemen, two winners, Samoa Joe and Gail Kim. There's that woman that got involved, and you can see the sign. Now, if you turn the sign over, it says Robert Wyman Brooks got involved when that brawl got into the crowd. He's got it locked in, and he's moving Storm to the middle. There's no way Storm, and you can see Storm tap out. He can't take it. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, Showtime Young, Samoa Joe. Here. You've got this fan who comes down here. Obviously, the world. Oh, oh man. man. Knockout blow, and you can see that the referee never saw it. Steel chair shot to the oh, head. No, Rude no, on top no. of the three count. Get right at the face. Oh, good for her. I've been wondering to tear that thing up. Look at that. Oh, my God. Get that puller out. Look, get security in here. Get security in here to separate these two. You pull it right out. Pull it there. Challenge match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Miss Brooks from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York, Robert Brooks. For Miss Brooks and Miss Brooks, he wants that chair and she's tentatively handing it to him. She hands in the steel chair to Robert Rude. Referee Hebner has his back turned. Oh, no, swing and a miss by Rude. And there's the kick by Booker T. And there he is, right to the gut. Double him over with that boost to the midsection. There's the axe kick. To the back of the head with authority. Here's the pin. One, two. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Booker T. Robert Root, I've got to say, you may have put your foot in your mouth when you started talking trash about Booker T's wife, Charmel. You know what, Crystal? Just shut up, okay?
Here comes Ms. Brooks. Oh, wait Long a minute. Ball. There she is. Eagle and Rude trying to use the stuff pile driver. Instead, hits the axe kick by Booker T on Rude. And he's going to walk right in. On Prettier. And he nails it perfectly. This is it. One, two, done. Robert Reed, Jim Cornette just announced the mixed tag that you demanded for final resolution. It's going to be you and Ms. Brooks against Booker T and Charmel. For once in your pathetic life, Crystal, you are exactly right. I don't have a problem with Booker T or Charmel. Why don't I have to do this? Why? Because my problems are your problems. And if my problems aren't your problems, then Robert Reed will be your personal problem. It's tag team. And Ms. Brooks against Booker T and Charmel. Top that. I'll tell you what. Continues with the following mixed tag team contest. And it is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York. Ms. Brooks and Robert Brooks. DNA just totally berating Ms. Brooks. And there she is. There she is. That stalker, that, that number one fan of his that's always somewhere. Finds a way to be in this building every time Robert Root's here. If you look at the reluctance on Miss Brooks there, Mike. Their opponent's team number two from Houston, Texas, Charmel and Booker T. Get off the ring apron and sit her down. She goes down, but oh, wait a minute. Right there, she does. We just talked about it. You can see she's conflicted, but she did grab the ankles of Booker T. Booker has been on the verge of defeat a half a dozen times to the corner with Booker oh. defenseless and Ms. Brooks with the open hand slap, and there's the close up look at her face, and you can see that she's not happy, but oh, Ms. Brooks collides. Shut up, got the pin. The contact made, the heads collide. Robert Root is doing it. Charmel. And here she comes. Charmel in here. What? 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 Wait, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, uh, this is totally inexcusable. I, I, I can tell you, Don, and, and everybody at home, I can tell you that on the condition of Charmel. As a woman, you cannot possibly be thinking about getting in the ring with him. Crystal, what choice do I have? Tell me, please. What, am I going to go run and hide? The only way I'm going to get out of this nightmare with Robert Root is to go to that ring tonight and face that son of a head on. And that one person is Robert Root. You know, see, he changed the whole name of the game. I couldn't help but over here and watch your pathetic interview in the back. You want me to be scared, Robert? Is this what you want? Does this make you happy? Every single day, you verbally abused me. Oh, these people aren't going to allow it. Spike TV isn't going to allow it. DNA isn't going to allow it. And I'm not going to allow it. What in the world? What the hell? That stalker, that psycho woman that's always out here. Replacement, Miss Banks, Miss Peyton Banks. There's Matt Morgan, Jim Cornette's right hand man, to check and come out here. Introducing first, accompanied by Peyton Banks from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York, Robert Rude. Well, her name is Peyton Banks, and Robert Rude. Well, he rewarded her for her persistence. I mean, you think about it. Every single night that Robert Rue was in the impact zone, she made sure she was in the building somewhere. A little control this match. Oh, well, well. we see Miss Brooks. Check this out. Miss Brooks heading down to the ringside area, and you know what? He done took a bad fall, and look at this. Here he goes. Here comes the payoff. Here comes the pin. One, two, and three. Got it. Loving every minute of this. And, oh, he's calling her in. And look at Peyton. Man.
Briggs, she cuts her off, goes right after and puts the boots to her. Oh, more of what we saw last week, but now Ms. Brooks turns it around on Peyton Banks. Wait a minute, Peyton Banks, has, she took her shoe, she took her boot off, and fortunately, Matt Morgan, representing TNA management, gets in to stop her. I have a broken jaw. Please let me enjoy my shake. Yeah. Well, with, with all due respect, Charmel is nursing her broken jaw right now back home. I don't think it's a laughing matter at all. You're right, man. Can you believe the remorseless Robert Rude? Wait a minute. Wait, here he comes. Booker T right out of the crowd, Mike. And go oh, oh, look at Rude. And look at Rude bail up. Like a little splinter quench rubber root ink. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a TNA knockout grudge match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Wall Street in Manhattan, New York, representing Rubber Root Incorporated, Peyton Banks, and her opponent from St. Mary's, Ontario, Canada, Tracy Brooks. Well, this is all about ending a nightmare for Tracy Brooks when you think. I don't think we have to worry about Tracy Brooks putting it into reverse at any point in this match. Right in front of referee Andrew Thomas who pulls her off. Then Tracy Brooks in the wrong. Nice spear! And she goes right after her. Now look at this. She realizes that Peyton Banks is going to fight. That's what she's going to do. She's not wrestling. She's going to fight. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about the girl that he's with. But boy, Tracy Brooks. Oh! Oh, oh nice move by Peyton Banks. Able to trip her right into the steel step. They're out of each other. Look at these kicks. One shot after the other. I mean, it, I mean, nice elbow shot. You got to give her credit. Peyton Banks just down is getting the better of Tracy Brooks. And, oh my God, both knees stabbed her right in the back. Here we go. Two. Oh, but Tracy Brooks gets out of it. Man, nice, nice move right there by Peyton Banks. We didn't see anything like that. He hasn't stopped for a second. She hasn't let up. But look at that. That's the streak. Of Tracy Brooks. Is oh, she did it. She used the rope for leverage. Oh, and there's the clothesline. Almost took her head off. Here we go. One, two. Just putting those shoulders right into the gut, knocking the wind out. But oh, oh, she telegraphed it. Here it is. One, two. Tracy Brooks gets the win. Throws this big, big show that she was no pushover for any. But turn it around. Oh. oh. She was overcome with emotion. And then from behind, you saw that cheap shot. Keep it going. And you can see Peyton Banks. Trying to get out of there with everything she's worth. And there she now gets out of the ring. Ladies. 